hydrogen as a fuel following are the advantages to use hydrogen as a fuel it has highest calorific value among all the fuels that is 150 kilojoules per gram It leaves no residue on burning as it is a gaseous fuel. Burning of hydrogen does not produce any emission of harmful gas. The product of burning is water only and heat energy is released along with it. The disadvantage in using hydrogen as a fuel are it has low ignition temperature that is below room temperature so its handling is difficult and it is costlier also. Comparison of various fuels. Let us do the comparative study of uh, various fuels or some important fuels. The first fuel, hydrogen, it is in gaseous state, it has highest calorific value, uh, it has very low ignition temperature because of its low ignition temperature, that is below room temperature, it is difficult to store. On burning, it leaves no residue and produces no pollutants at all. It is transported through pipeline and its cost is very high. The another fuel is CNG, compressed natural gas. It has very high calorific value. It is also difficult to store. It also has low ignition temperature. On burning, it leaves no residue, also it causes no pollution that is no harmful gases are produced. It is transported through pipeline and it is available at low cost. That is, it is nowadays used as a domestic fuel and the fuel in vehicles as well. The next fuel is LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. Its calorific value is high. That is, it produces sufficient amount of heat energy on burning the unit mass. It has low ignition temperature, but it can be stored easily relatively to the previous two fuels. On burning, as it is gaseous fuel, it also leaves no residue, causes no pollution. It is transported through gas cylinders and uh, it is available at a moderate cost. So it is mostly used as domestic fuel. The other important fuel is kerosene oil. Its calorific value is moderate. Ignition temperature is low. It can be stored easily. On burning, it leaves no residue. And as it is a liquid fuel, no residue is left behind. But it produces pollutant. That is, it causes air pollution. Pollutant is carbon monoxide. It is transported through tankers and it is available at moderate cost. The another important fuel is petrol. Its calorific value is also moderate. That is it produces a moderate amount of heat energy on burning unit mass. Its ignition temperature is low. It is relatively difficult to store the petrol other than kerosene. On burning it also produces no residue as it is a liquid fuel on burning it also causes air pollution that is it produces carbon monoxide gas it is transported through tankers and uh, pipelines the cost of petroleum is also high 
the next important fuel is diesel its scalfic value is moderate its ignition temperature is also moderate so it can be stored easily on burning it leaves no residue but it produces pollutants like sulfur dioxide and uh, SPM suspended particulate matter it is transported through tankers and pipelines and its cost is also high petrol and diesel are two important fuels which are used in vehicles most of the vehicles run on these two fuels petrol and diesel the another fuel is coal its calcific value is low that is produces very less amount of heat energy on burning unit mass ignition temperature is high it takes time to burn as it is solid fuel its uh, storage is difficult on burning it leaves ash it also produces pollutants like sulfur dioxide and spm suspended particulate matter it is transported through vehicles and uh, its cost is low now we will discuss about sun as a source of energy the various sources of energy such as coal natural gas or any fraction of petroleum wood hydroelectric power wind power and nuclear power are ultimately dependent upon the sun plants grow by synthesizing their food in presence of sunlight that food is eaten by animals in turn animals waste produces gobar gas which is used as a fuel when animals die they form fossil fuels which finally turn into coal and petroleum the heat of sun causes rain in turn rivers are full of water and uh, waterfalls start flowing and uh, they are used as a source of hydroelectric power also heat of sun causes formation of winds tides and oceanic waves efforts have been made to explore solar energy for generating electricity efforts have also been made to explore solar energy for generating electricity but this effort would pay off in future